My name is Brian Moore of EMR NAM News. I just wanted to give you our NAM News perspective on the new Tesco trade terms. What I'll do is look at what this is all about, where it's heading, how it affects you, and especially what you should do about it. To start with, in terms of what this is all about, as you know, Tesco recently asked general merchandise suppliers to give them an extra 30 days credit added to the current 30 days, this became 60 days credit in all. Some time before that, they actually asked other suppliers to give them additional trade funding to help them price fight the discounters. Now, these two developments represent fundamental change in the marketplace for suppliers and retailers. In fact, as far as the individual supplier-retailer relationship is concerned, it represents a real break with the status quo, unless suppliers obtain reciprocal concessions of equivalent value in return. Now, where is all of this heading? Well, first of all, there's a precedent with regard to other categories in that other retailers, not necessarily Tesco, may be tempted to apply this to health and beauty, household and other non-food areas. Secondly, it's a major precedent with regard to other retailers in that they cannot be expected to stand by and not request the same extension of credit from their suppliers. I want to stress this is not about criticising Tesco. Tesco have obviously taken into account the potential if you like, fall out from consumers, government, other retailers and suppliers. As far as consumers are concerned, they're unlikely to object given that all of this will result in lower prices on shelf. The government, given that reaction or lack of reaction by the consumer, is unlikely to want to step in. Other retailers would probably react in the way I've just indicated. However, as far as the suppliers are concerned, then obviously the big guys can look after themselves, but medium and smaller suppliers may not feel able to risk a refusal. In such cases, the lack of resistance obviously should not be regarded as acceptance. We believe, from the work we do certainly, that there's a growing resentment out there, a sense of betrayal even, in some cases setting supplier-retailer relationships back years. This is much more about your response to a new business problem, a fundamental change in the marketplace, and we believe that real opportunities exist for you. Now the key idea is how does this affect you? Well, first of all, typical suppliers on the new terms will need incremental sales of 11.7% just to stand still. At the same time, their profit on Tesco business will reduce from typical levels of 7% net profit to something like 6.2% just to carry the cost of the additional credit. Obviously, this could extend into other categories as far as you're concerned. You'll we'll probably face demands from other retailers to restore the retail competitive set vis-a-vis -vis Tesco. And eventually, who knows? we may even reach levels equivalent to the Italian trade of 90-day credit in the UK. The key idea for you is what you actually do about it. Well, first of all, we believe there are real opportunities for proactive suppliers willing to take action while others wait and see. There are opportunities to rebalance your entire customer portfolio. A lot has changed. You need to now re-examine the balance of risk and reward in that customer portfolio. Secondly, you need to realign your competitive profile, in other words, your appeal versus other suppliers in the eyes of Tesco and other retailers. This has all changed. You need to demonstrate your financial impact on Tesco profitability and be able to, let's say, calculate, rationalize and demonstrate that impact. And finally, you need to make a robust case for obtaining reciprocal concessions compensate for any extension of the credit period. You might also try our NAM News in-house workshop to help you accelerate the process. In fact, we've designed a new NAM News Live in-house workshop to help you gain an objective perspective on this whole issue in terms of how it affects you and in order to help you, as I say, realign your trade strategies as a result. 
what we do, working to a brief obviously, is spend 30 minutes opening up the whole financial crisis and the Tesco response. We then move into the impact on your individual customers, how it affects them and how they will probably respond. And that's for 60 minutes. We then devote two hours to working with you and your team in terms of actioning your recovery program. We help you optimize your risk profile in terms of your pain threshold, obviously. We then, on the basis of that, move into re-engineering your competitive appeal, given this massive change in the market. We help you reassess the finances in terms of invest return options. We show your team how to calculate and demonstrate your financial impact on Tesco and other customer profitability and we thereby help you negotiate reciprocal concessions in return for the extra terms request. If you like more details, in fact we have a fact pack giving white papers on every aspect of what I've covered so far. This is all available free. Just contact me, Brian Moore, at bmoore at namnews.com. Thank you very much.